very interesting who took this flight, right? There is a prey area here. Can women actually also come to prey here? Saudi has no alcohol airline. Nobody have documented, I have not seen so far, is the Hajj operation. Within three to four weeks, over 100,000 people, over 300 flights take place to come to Saudi Arabia. It's good to see Jeddah Airport now finally came together one roof, transit is possible. I lost all my footages. I got caught by the uh, airport security. I was given a tour at the new Saudi Jeddah Al Fursan Lounge. The 3,500 square meter lounge is also the largest Sky Team lounge in the world. I'm back at Incheon Airport flying out tonight on Saudia. Look at this digital screen on the check-in desk. Uh, here's our Saudi friends. Look at what they bought. These are the famous Korean instant noodles. Show us the noodle. Oh, you're gonna eat this when you go home, right? Yeah. So our flight's a little delayed. I'm actually the only passenger in this uh, Korean Air Lounge with Saudi U Sky Team, right? The lounge is pretty decent, like very new furnishings and um, decent food and drinks. Very neat, very clean, just like the rest of Korea. Just got kicked out from the lounge. Well, not because I've done anything wrong, because the lounge is closing at 9.30 p.m. Our flight's running a little late, so i uh, gonna go to the gate early now. Here, I'm waiting our flight. I met Mr. Tala here. He was here in Korea in the 1980s. Saudi Saram Chua Chua. Chua Chua. I was here in 83 until 87. Oh my I god. Very nice you were the first guy. station manager. Yep. What what kind of plane Saudi fly in 1983? At that time it was a 747 aircraft. Non-stop? Yeah, non-stop, yes. Riyadh, Seoul? Riyadh, Seoul and Jeddah. What kind of it passenger was, on those flights? Uh, at that time, mostly laborers. Oh. But now, as I see, uh, different kind of ethnicities. Yeah, Korea has yes, changed. Korea has changed to the better. Mm. It was always good, but now changed to the better. really late 11 p.m. but exciting to see the plane has arrived and also the crew has arrived that's a good sign we're flying we're finally lined up it's very interesting who took this flight right um, who's going to Saudi Arabia from Korea but looks like the flight is pretty full at least in business class 24 out of 24 not a single seat left um, I figure people going to connection in Saudi Arabia like I am doing to Europe Hi, welcome to our... Hi Hi sir, how are you? Very good Thank you This way please sir Okay You're welcome Finally settled down in this business class of Saudi Dreamliner 121, 24 seats, and I can remove my mask on this flight. It's not uh, compulsory. Actually, I figure out the rules of mask. It depends on the destination. So if you're flying to a country that is not mandatory for mask, you don't have to wear one. Some juice. We have uh, um, orange juice, pineapple, mixed berry, um, maybe lemon with milk, and we have also antioxidant juice. Oh, I'll have a pineapple juice. Yeah. Pineapple. Oh, no. It's, oh, yes. Thank you. 
Thank you. This is the Saudi coffee. Very strong aroma. Thank you. Bye. Mode selector to flight and cross check. Oh, it's okay, thank you. so dead but uh, the Dreamliner was so quiet right the seats were comfortable and I'm now feeling refreshed so there's actually a chef on Saudia and the breakfast order is a scrambled egg he's gonna cook my egg fresh right today I'm gonna show you how to cook fresh eggs let's, let's do it let's yeah. do it so we have we need some fresh eggs and then now this is the magical equipment we have In this bit. so here we have uh, the preheated oven with my aluminium pan. Ah, uh, so you use the oven to cook. Yeah, we use oven to cook. So this is our equipment. Uh. This is our pan. So uh, we just it's use like a pan. Okay. a spade for butter and some olive oil. Okay. And now we put it all here. Yeah. Just like on the pan. Yeah. Just like on the pan. And then we are going to move it. Uh, after three minutes, four minutes. Let's open and check it. So we will risk it again. This uh, is scrambled. Ten minutes, yeah. Ten minutes. Now we are it's liquidy and yeah. we need to scramble it. Yeah, oh Otherwise, I see. Otherwise it's gonna be dried up. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like a circle. Yeah. Sweet. Well thanks for showing me the scramble eggs, but I love this dish. This is the egg shashoka. Like, you know, it's more colorful and more flavorful, so I decided to skip that dish and went for this one. Oh, beautiful. As some of you may saw at the rear of the 787, there is a prey area here. So, Mohammed is the person on this flight. I have a question, right? Yeah. Mostly I saw men come to prey. Can women actually also come to pray here? Absolutely, sir. So, seems like we missed the praying time. Like, when did they come to pray here? Sam, we missed the time for praying. Therefore, nobody is here. Oh. However, sometimes if we're passing the time for prayer, you will see it all full. And sometimes people have to wait our guests uh, in order for them to pray. And as you see, uh, we have uh, eight guests who can uh, fill this uh, area. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the others, they can wait until the what time. What is this? The lights here? These are the lights. And uh, also here you have a screen uh -huh. for the uh, Qibla, which is Mecca. Yeah. So the guests, they can know where uh, to pray. So yeah. the direction. Have your seatbelt is fastened. Keep your window shades open. stop on the same plane then we'll be onward to Jeddah I just love this kind of one-stop continuation flight right Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> so while I'm waiting on board for the next flight uh, here's a couple things about Saudi I observed and I want to share with you right first Saudi is a no alcohol airline can't bring your own alcohol to drink uh, second I see most men Saudi men are the purser um, however 
I've seen now there are Saudi national female joining its cabin crew, which is a big thing for this part of the Middle East as a big boost for the female. Um, the third thing is what nobody have documented, I have not seen so far, is the Hajj operation. Within three to four weeks, over 100,000 people, over 300 flights take place to come to Saudi Arabia. Uh, they are flying uh, for first time um, at the air, uh, aircraft and we, we have to help them with the, the, to guide them for their seat, for, with their luggage, to put it in the overhead compartment, sometimes to um, let them see the features of the lavatory, how to use, and also the prayer area. I like actually the Hajj flight because they are coming, you know, for religion purpose and they are so happy, by the way, to come to Saudi Arabia. I, I really wish to get on board one of these flights next time. Yes, I want to document that, that experience. Oh, I forgot there was another observation I had on Saudi. The toilet is always a problem. You know, a lot of passengers use water in the toilet, so the floor is wet. To tackle this problem now, I've seen they have a cabin service assistant. So she will primarily assisting the cabin crew and also clean that toilet, which is very much needed. <laughs> May I offer you some dates? Oh, no sale today. Nobody <laughs> takes dates today this morning. Since you're not a fan of dates, perhaps I can offer you some date smoothie to try. Uh, you are a date girl here. <laughs> you're trying dates. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll have a, I have a date smoothie. I'll try a date smoothie. Here's the date smoothie. Not a smoothie guy, yeah, not a date guy, but let's try it. Coming out of Riyadh, the time is uh, 5 to 6 a.m. Uh, 30 degrees outside. I think it's going to be a non-eventful flight to Jeddah. It's just about one hour and 20 minutes, and uh, looks like there's no passenger joining. It's an international continuation flight, right? So now uh, I think 80% of people got off in Riyadh. Bye. 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 At 7.20 a.m. arrived at Jeddah, finally. I lost count how many hours. My salama. Now I'm going to test out the new transfer at Jeddah Airport. Uh, my next flight, 10 a.m. to Paris. The 
It's good to see Jeddah Airport now finally came together. One roof, transit is possible. Lots of morning passenger transit this morning, going to Istanbul, Cairo, London, Paris. Um, unfortunately, I lost all my footages. I got caught by the uh, airport security at the uh, screening and they made me delete all the transit photos. I uh, couldn't show you, but it's just pretty simple. One queue, transit, the other queue is to arrival. So you just go through transit and then you come upstairs into the departure hall. I was given a tour at the new Saudi Jeddah Al Fursan Lounge. It's a separate first class and business class area. The 3,500 square meter lounge is also the largest Sky Team lounge in the world. It can accommodate up to 10,000 guests throughout the day. First class, business class passenger on Saudi Al Fursan Elites and Sky Team Elites car holders can access the lounge. The lounge also accept payment for walking passengers. So I board another Saudi 787-9 to Paris. I think by this time you would already be familiar with the airplane. Enjoy some of the en route scenery out of Jeddah over the Red Sea and landing into Paris Charles de Gaulle. Yeah. 